I have this idea, a way for me to learn and a way for you to learn, hopefully. There's a lot of verbiage in this cybersecurity world that don't make a lot of sense to me yet. So my goal with this is to teach myself, but maybe also teach you, hopefully. So what I wanna do is I wanna take different terms that are in the cybersecurity world and I want to learn about them. So there's a lot of three letter acronyms. There's a lot of just things like, do I say that as a word? Do I say the letters? Is it an ERO? Is it an ERO? Is it a SCADA? Is it a SCADA? I don't know. Um, so I, I've heard them a lot. So they're like, like I know it's SCADA and I know it's ERO. Um, but there's a lot of them out there that I don't know. So, and I thought, hey, who could assist me with this? You know, to teach me. I thought, chat GPT, why not? It's doing everything these days. So, my first thing here, as I wanna go in here, is I want to start off with, um, I noticed that this is the best way to get, not the most detailed of every single answer in the world, because otherwise chat GPT will tell you more than you want to know. So I'm putting into here, I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions, but I need you to keep the answer short because otherwise we're going to be reading off a lot of stuff. So sure, I can provide you a short answers to your questions. Go ahead and ask. All right, so here we go. So what are we going to learn about today? Let's think. Well, I mentioned SCADA, so let's talk about SCADA. So can you tell me about the term SCADA. Quick. All right, let's see what we see. All right, so SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition. It's a system used for monitoring and controlling industrial processes and infrastructure. Okay, can you explain that a little more in detail? There we go. SCADA systems are used to remotely monitor and control various processes and equipment in industries such as manufacturing, energy, water treatment, and transportation. They typically consist of sensors and devices that collect data from the field, a central computer system for data processing and visualization. Okay, so it's like some kind of computer monitoring. So it just monitors everything, oh, that's clever, and human machine interfaces for operators to interact with the system. SCADA systems help improve efficiency, safety, and reliability in industrial operations. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like just someone that just, not someone, but it's something that can monitor everything all at once, good and bad. Okay, that's clever. All right, so a SCADA, is something that in a, in, a, in a utility world or in some form of critical infrastructure like a power plant um, that can monitor everything that you're doing. So if you're doing things properly, it's right along with you. If something is amiss or someone has come into your system, I'm sure it can let you know about that too. That's cool. So a quick little edit here. I was so focused on the fact that it was monitoring things. Apparently that was exciting for me that I completely just, I mean, I read it, but I didn't process the fact that it also controls industrial processes and infrastructure. So you got to add that element in there as well. So not only does it monitor, it also controls some of the processes uh, involved in the different plants and things too. So. Okay, back to it. Let's see, what is the, let's see what would happen if, um, what happens if a SCADA gets hacked? If a SCADA, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System gets hacked, it can have serious consequences, including disruption of operations, all right, that makes sense, data manipulation, somebody can get in there and mess with your stuff. Um, so safety risks, I imagine that they can control things to do whatever that they want 
them to do and then you know human beings getting hurt and stuff uh loss of confidentiality so sensitive industrial data may be stolen or exposed and then financial impact so you're obviously going to be down that system so interesting all right well i think that pretty much defines what a SCADA is I hope. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's more to it than that. There probably is. I'm sure that I did barely scratch the surface. But I'm, like I said, I'm trying to learn more about these things. So if you know more and you can tell me about it, please tell me because I want to know. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you learned something and I hope that maybe you can teach me something too. So, all right. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.